My name is Imo Esen. I am from Nongokana Ibesipo in Ibesipo Sudan local government area of Akwaibum State, Nigeria. I am a teacher by profession, not just a teacher. I am a special teacher because I teach children with special needs. We could say children with disability. When I was in Sanders school many years ago, and um, I tried to develop others by teaching in Sunday school. It was there and then that I discovered that I could teach. And so when the opportunity presented itself for me to go to the university, I chose education. And so I have a first degree in health science education, and then I have a master's in special education, and currently I'm doing my PhD on educational administration. My focus was to be able to see how I can be able to develop others by being consistent in giving ideas to develop the personalities and bring our persons to become who they are and achieve their God-given talent and God-given opportunity in life. I just believe that no one came to the world without anything. When I was in Sunday school, in the Apostolic Church, precisely at Dynamo Assembly, we started Sunday school from the special group. I was involved in the teaching of children, and then I, I discovered that I can teach. So immediately I came back from the service, I got a job as a primary school teacher. From there, I developed the children, and I was so successful at that. It was teaching children at the secondary level, mostly at the special education, that motivated me to go for my second degree, that I have a second degree in special education. It is there and then that I knew that I had to play to help people with special needs. In 2016, as a special teacher, I won the best teacher in Nigeria. That's the Maltina Teacher of the Year. I was celebrated. This was, that was an awesome experience, becoming a celebrity as a teacher. This is still going back to where I started, the Sunday school at Apostolic Church. And I would say that without that background, without that platform, I wouldn't have been able to discover who I was going to be. And it's from there that I also, in 2019, won the Fulbright Teacher of the Year. I went to the U.S., and I studied at the University of Arkansas in the United States to, be, to also special education. And I've come back into Nigeria and I've also done a lot of work in special education area because I've established a school, the prestigious Royal Schools of Innovation and Special Needs. And we've had a lot of children that we are now training using their IEP, Individualized Educational Program, to develop them and make who they are. It is in this school that I have been able to also lay a better foundation for children with special needs. Over the years, I have um, contributed in, in no small ways, based on the resources that God has given me, in providing education, in providing materials, in providing equipment to children with special needs, to schools, to organizations. As a teacher, I could only say today that I am fulfilled. Currently, I'm doing my PhD at the University of Manchester in the UK. I'm also believing the fact that at the end of my program, I would do more. At the end of my program, I would be able to lead and do better. At the end of my program, with the knowledge I will have there, I will be able to take education to the next level. So when you look at yourself as an individual, don't look down on yourself. Don't look down on the profession that you find yourself. Don't look down at the fact that I'm a common teacher. As a teacher, I am not a common teacher. I am a successful teacher. I am an achiever. Teaching people with special needs, needs special talent, needs people to be um, to apply not just the ordinary procedures in t at teaching. Everyone has opportunity, no matter who you are. Uh, teaching has become technology uh, driven, and teaching people with special needs also needs you to be able to use that to be able to help them. My children that I have taught over the years have done a lot and have achieved a lot. In the area of sports, I teach physical education. In the area of sports, I've, I've gone to compete at Special Olympic Games within and outside the country. They've gone to China, they've gone to Athens, Greece, they've gone to the United States, and we've won gold medals, silver, just like when we came back from Abu Dhabi in 2019. Four gold medals and three silver from badminton and table tennis. These are direct students that I have taught we, that in the area of sports. Then in the area of academics, some of my students have graduated from the university and some of them have been employed by the state government. So whenever I, I turn around and see the students that I have taught becoming achievers, I feel proud and I feel that I've been satisfied. Going on from here, I see have the, the prestigious Royal Schools of Innovation and for special needs. 
and I believe there I am going to be able to help children with special needs, grant them opportunities to become who they are and who they want to be. It's a personal project. And also try to see that how the church will be able to incorporate special education in every aspect of life. I believe that people with special needs should be integrated into every area and every spheres of life. Don't forget one thing. The Bible says, For my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You only have Jesus, then you will be able to have other things. <laughs>